You're all right, boy. Buddy, keep to yourself. I got my eye on you. It's all good. Calm down. Come on, boy. And that's done then. Almost there. Mister. Out of the way. We got plenty of room. Shut up that pretty mouth, or I'll shut it for 
for you. Are you really gonna leave me tied up like this? Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. Nice folks around here. There, boy. Show kindness on a man with no sight. Help a blind man. Okay, sure. You keep hidden all that matters, sir. Maybe even from yourself. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? I can't tell you what you want to hear.
Yeah, that's it, boy. Yeah, okay, boy. There, boy. Beef, pork, venison, all right here, folks. Good to see you back. I hear some loose-tongued crook kept talking to the law, so they made him food for the buzzards. Uh, place is gone to the dogs. Huh? Been a pleasure doing business with you. Thank you. Okay, boy. Trust you got, folks. Step right up. Welcome back. Something slip your mind before? There you are. I think I had enough. Don't miss that man. Get him. That's too bad. Get up there. Pretty sure Philip Morse got himself run out of town by his own people. you think you're doing?
Oh, sorry, boy. New Hanover Gazette. No. Heard some soldier threw himself under a train of state. Hello there. Hey, fellas. Master. Greetings. Hello. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? Hank told me a man of the clergy joined a poker game down a flat neck station. So drunk, he could hardly play. Surprised me in the least.
Let me yeah, see never what's mind. available. Worth a shot. Mister, how you doing, friend? You know what? I'm feeling good today. Glad to hear it. Hey there. Don't think I've seen you in here before. Gum, candies, tobacco. All the good stuff are on the shelves behind my counter. Tonics and medicines are on the table over there. Everything else, you should see the catalog. Don't reckon there's anything more I can do for Tommy. Just one punch too many. Curatives, restoratives, tonics, elixirs, lotions, potions and gum, you name it, I stock it. Now, let me have a look. I once had to saw a man's leg off to save him from a snake bite. He didn't make it, but I say it was the bite, not the sawing. You got any questions about what might be best for your particular ailment? Thanks. Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a feller to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. Sir? Evening, son. You must need eyes in the back of your head. What are you doing here? Don't you have a bounty to catch? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, boy. Let's go. Have a nice evening. Evening, mister. Yeah. You're all right, 
Good one, boy. Easy, easy. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. Uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if you could help me find him. It's just my mother's real sick. Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Right. Hold on! I'm slipping! Shit! <laughs> oh, 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 you saved me! Now come on, buddy, let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! What? Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me! Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! Oh, really do not like you.
I'm only in it for the money. That's even worse. All right. Let's take you in. So, what do you got for me? for a little longer. Oh. Oh. I seem to keep blacking out. Oh. Sir, I must warn you, my temperature is subnormal. I have medicine in my pocket. Would you pass it to me, please? seem to keep blacking out. Oh, sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Caldorp was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offering? Uh, fifty dollars. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you.
Mister? Well, my pockets are feeling like about time of... Ran across a passel of locals the other day. They won't forget the O'Driscoll name anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think I've seen you in town before. You just arrived in these? Come on, sir. If I were you, I'd walk out of this town while you're able to. Come on! Okay, okay, I guess I'll go then. Pick up! Yeah! Don't make us have to hurt you! You yellow belly. Never mind. He ain't worth our time. But you have been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabama. Yeah. Funny thing about big penises. They're curly like their tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this isn't going very well. Apparently not. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. OK, then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book. I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house.
I'm in a real bind. This feller, he's in a bad way. You gotta help me. I'll pay you. Okay, okay, calm down. Where is he? He's inside. Upstairs. Come with me, I'll show you. It was me or him. The hell is this? I gotta clean this room. Can you get rid of him, please? I'll give you all the money I got. Well, I must started really be losing my mind this time. He was a demon in human shape. You know, there's a pig pen not too far. Just dump the body in there and they'll eat him up in no time. Did you do it? Please tell me you did it. I'm back, ain't I? Thank you. Please, take it. Take all of it. Well, at least that's done with, right? Damn straight. This whole town's better off. Trust me. The women of Valentine over you, mister. You did a good thing. Now please go. I had bad beats and I had fair beats and they both smart the same. Well, hey there. What can I do for you this evening? Good morning, friend. Something got your tongue? What brought you here? Thought you should know, one of the working girls just put a knife in a feller upstairs at the saloon. Not again. These women are insane. All right, leave it with me. All right, I want to see you making tracks. Let's go. Of course, no problems here. Don't come back too soon, neither.
morning, Brain. All right, boy. Yeah, good boy. Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? Thomas Downs! Oh, Mr. Downs! You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? <coughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Nah. Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Nah. Mr. Strauss seems so understanding. <laughs> Slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please show some compassion. Please be reasonable. <laughs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
Day. Don't mess with me, please. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Clean myself in weeks. Speak. How you doing? Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I've ridden with them for a while. Oh, shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Are you sure as shit was? John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, but I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Colm? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it? 
last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind. Young feller. Right at the forefront of them. I swear, I promise, I am taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see, I'll make good. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us, then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them, you're out to survive like them, you live rough, you live hard, fighting the law, nature, you're out for yourself. See, this is why you're no Driscoll, oh Driscoll. You're out to survive, we're out to live, free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is, Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet, taking them out as we find them, trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. This is it, the cabin. Just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? 
I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Just over the ridge. Okay, get down. Cabin's in the cleaner down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Cole O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm, yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Go to work. We're here. We don't need nothing else from you. Don't you damn move. Guns in the cave! Oh. I guess they know we're here. Ah. Let's get them! It's on! We move quick! We move hard! Come on, then! Come on! These are the fellas smoking the grizzlies! Come at me, you Irish bastards! Oh, Come on, Driscoll! Where are you? Back to the cabin! Let's make a stand!
Leave him. Comb's still here. Hey, he said Comb's be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Ain't you checking the cabin for Comb? Said Cole would be in the cabin. You all right? Sure. Thank you. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I, sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. The rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> Right you are. At least you got something tucked away.
I won that game well, fair and square. Shit! Welcome fair back. and square, my ass! Get in quick, folks, before I eat all the Your move! Oh, my! Easy. Let's go! You're okay. Come on! Who else wants some, huh? Who else? Sure, I'll shoot you. Wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. Hey, move it! Hello.
Got a criminal here. Hey! Help! Didn't we warn you, pal? Move a son of a bitch, kill him! I kill men before nah. you see ah. You couldn't leave it alone, huh? No, 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 no! Okay, boy.
everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? <sighs> Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. I... <clears throat> Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the Blackwater to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. <sighs> Well, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. And a gentleman? Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Another straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed.
Look, they've stopped. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're doing with here. <laughs> So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Do this quietly if we can. Give it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Stay here. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Wait here. He's still reeling them in. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You She's take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure, as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, lean all those boots you got there, eh? Oh, they're very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Is he alive? We're gonna have to shoot our way up there! Ah! Stay the hell back! Ah!
Charles, you go right, okay? I guess. Let's take these hijo putas! Goddamn army of these bastards! How much is Sean's bound? Maybe we should do it ourselves. Still time! Arthur? Hey! What are you all doing? Arthur! Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Uh, uh, do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
anymore. Boy. Yeah, that's it, boy.
Yeah. Hey, hey, this way. You gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? Please. I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. So how'd you end up like this? Just shoot the damn chains already, come on! Just shoot the chains off, please! I'm done for otherwise. Oh, shit! Come on! Enough. Oh! Oh, oh, yes! Yes! Perfect! Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Some of those fellows talked about this old crone up north of Strawberry. Got herself a tidy sum locked away. Maybe just stories, but they were sure excited. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. Seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Even you, Arthur. Mr. McGuire is back. So come on. Let's have ourselves a party. Okay, speak later. Okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Dead Eye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <laughs> I love you, bastards. <laughs> Have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Your fellow Ain't countryman returns. I suppose. Huh? Apparently. Well, enjoy. Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Uh -huh. yeah. Talk to you later. A classic so, Sean McGuire speech. On. Yes, How he's definitely Sean? back. Well, we need a reason one, to you? celebrate. Go join in. Hey, hey, listen, my well, friend, don't let me bother you. Do you know sure. The Louisville maid? It was diddle 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 all the day. Put my hand upon her toe. Mark well what I do say. She says, young man, you're rather low for the diddle 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 all the day. <laughs> well, what I do say. She says, young man, you're rather low for the diddle all the day. Put my arm around her waist. Mark well what I do say. She says, young man, you're in great haste for the diddle 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 all the day. 
Put my hand upon her thigh. Mark well what I do say. She says you're getting pretty. Diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. I put my hand upon her ass. Mark well what I do say. She says let's lay down on the grass. And diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. You ain't joining in? There is little joy left in drinking for me. Okay, then. Ah, it's good to be back. I even missed you, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to celebrate. <laughs> Me and you, never need one of those, Uncle. I didn't think we were going to see you again. Ah, it'll take more than that to take down Sean McGuire. A hundred bounty hunters there were. Oh, is that right? Look at me. With the bell of the ball. <laughs> Stop it, you. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Sure, but I ain't much of a dancer. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Well, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. Anytime. You're better than I thought you'd be. Oh, try and take that as a compliment. <laughs> Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? Hello! Hello. What do you want? I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Oh, this keeps happening. Okay, I'll catch you later then. I guess.
You okay, Jose? Well done, Arthur. Oh, it wasn't just me. We got him. You did very well. All of you. And now we're stuck with. <laughs> How you keeping all that? I'm gonna get us out of this one. You have lost your mate. Pack your bags. Coat tags too. Make your living off the ring. And that's what you call the ring dang do. She went off. Mary Beth. Hi, Arthur. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls or whatever the polite term is for them. We saw black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. So no getting in? I don't think so. Not for now, anyway. 